Okay, for, so for the second part of these notes, we're going to be looking for something called a coterminal angle. Um, coterminal angles are angles that look exactly the same. They just have different rotations. So if we look at this right here, this one that we drew on number three, and all we were given were the initial and the terminal side, someone could call that just a 330 degree angle without knowing this rotation. Someone could call this a negative 30 degree angle because if they start here and they travel clockwise, they're traveling a negative, and in this case, 30 degrees, but they look exactly the same. The initial and the terminal side, sides are exam exactly the same, but their rotations are just different. So all you have to do to find a coterminal angle is to either add 360 or subtract 360. I put this in here in case it's in radian measures, but I think students understand coterminal angles a little bit better when it's in th uh, degrees rather than radians. Um, so we'll be working with always degrees, okay? So on the next slide, we're going to find a positive, that's key, angle that's less than 360 degrees, okay? So we have to find an angle that's between 0 and 360 degrees. So right now on number 8, we have 665 degrees, which is bigger than 360. So to find its coterminal, we're just going to subtract 360 degrees. So 665 minus 360 is 305 degrees. Since that is between 0 and 360, that is its coterminal angle. The next one is negative 905 degrees. So obviously that's not between 0 and 360. But since it's negative, subtracting 360 is just going to make it even smaller and smaller. So we need to add 360 to this. So if I take negative 905 and I add 360, I'm up to nine, uh, negative 545 degrees. That's still not between 0 and 360, so I have to add 360 again. So when I add 360 again, I'm up to negative 185 degrees. I'm still not there, so I have to add 360 again. And when I add 360 to negative 185, I'm at positive 175, and there it is. I finally got an angle that's between 0 and 360. The last two are in radian measures. Again, I know you guys are not fond of working with fractions, so to avoid doing that, we're going to convert this to degrees. So I'm going to multiply this by 180 degrees over pi. So I'm going to take 17 times 180 and divide it by 3, and I have 1,020 degrees. Obviously, that's not in between 0 and 360. So just like on number 8, I'm going to subtract 360 from that, which gives me 660. It's still not between 0 and 360, so I'm going to subtract 360 again, and I get 300. There it is. I finally got an angle that is between 0 and 360. But here is where they try to trick you. Because the original problem was in radians, your answer has to be in radians. So we need to convert this back to radians by multiplying by pi over 180 degrees. So in your calculator, if you take 300 over 180, it simplifies it to be 5 pi over 3. And that's your final answer. We're going to do the exact same thing with this last one. So I'm going to first convert it to a, a degree. Pi's cancel. So I have 180, or negative 180, divided by 150, which is negative 6 fifths degrees. Is that between 0 and 180? 
It is, because if you took six divided by five, you would get approximately 1.2 degrees. So this is the same thing as saying negative 1.2 degrees, which is between zero and 360, which means this original problem is its own coterminal angle because of the fact that it has, it's an angle between uh, zero and 360, okay? Looking down at this last part, we're also going to be talking about something called reference angles. Reference angles are positive acute angles. Positive we know, remember, acute just means an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. Here's those quadrants I was talking to you about. So if they gave you an angle that was in the first quadrant, for instance, if they gave you 62 degrees, its reference angle is itself. Okay, so to find the coterminal angle of 62 degrees, the angle would be 62 degrees. If I gave you an angle here in the second quadrant, for instance, if I gave you 146 degrees, its coterminal angle would be found by taking 180 degrees and subtracting that 146. So if you put that in the calculator, you get 34. So the reference angle of 146 is 34 degrees because it's positive and it's acute. In the third quadrant, you would take your angle that you would be given and you would, sorry, not add, you would subtract 180 degrees from it. And if you get, were given an angle um, in the fourth quadrant, you would take 360 degrees and subtract the angle that you were given. So first quadrant, it's itself. Second quadrant gets subtracted from 180. Third quadrant, you take the angle minus 180. Fourth quadrant is 360 minus the angle. Okay, so if you look at the last set of examples, it says find the reference angle. So think about where 276 degrees is. I won't do this for every problem, but if we drew this, 276, that's 90, 180, 270 would be this next line. So it's barely into this fourth quadrant here, okay? So 276 degrees is in the fourth quadrant. So in the fourth quadrant, you just take 360 degrees, subtract the angle that you were given. So 360 degrees minus 276, the answer is 84 degrees. That's between 0 and 90, which makes it acute. This one's getting to be a little tricky because it's a negative 350, which makes us think that it's in the first quadrant. But you can only find a reference angle if what you're given is positive. So since this is a negative, we first need to find its coterminal angle, because remember, they're going to have the same initial and terminal sides. So remember, for, to find coterminal angles, we have to add 360 degrees, and when we do that, we get 10 degrees. So 10 degrees and negative 350 degrees are coterminal angles. 10 degrees is in the first quadrant. And remember, anything in the first quadrant is its own reference angle, so your answer would just be this coterminal angle right here. This last one, again in radians, I'm going to convert it to a degree. So I'm going to take 53 times 180 degrees, and then I'm going to divide it by 6 which gives me 1,590 degrees. Again, we would have to do a lot of rotations around this to get to 1590. So I'm gonna find its coterminal first. Get it down to something that's between zero and 360 so we can use those rules for the different quadrants. So we're just gonna keep subtracting 360 until we get it down to a number between zero and 360. One more time, I'll get there. So its coterminal angle is 150 degrees. 
Think about where 150 is, which quadrant that would be in. If you were to draw it, it would be right here in the second quadrant. So to find its reference angle in the second quadrant, you would take 180 degrees and subtract that 150. So the reference angle is 30 degrees. Don't forget to check out what the assignments are for this lesson. Also, don't forget to meet me at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Um, I will send the Google Meet link to your email so you can ask me any questions that you might still have on this lesson. See you guys then.